Sure, the MacBook Air might be the newest official Apple-branded laptop, but recently another laptop debuted. Veteran game console modder Ben Heckendorn recently created a one-of-a-kind Apple 2GS laptop. Yes, that's right, a 2GS with all its 3.5 MHz processing power. The 2GS marked Ben's first public mod of an Apple product after many years of console mods. I started with Atari 2600 game systems, and then I moved on to other consoles, and then probably in the, like about the last three or four years I've done uh, newer consoles such as the Xbox or PlayStation 3, and I've also gotten into building some 8-bit computer stuff like I did an Atari 800, and then of course the Apple 2GS. In part because of the architecture, the 2GS was a relatively easy mod compared to Ben's recent Xbox and PlayStation 3 laptop creations. It didn't take too long. Um, I usually do several projects at once, and I did the Apple 2GS over the course of, I don't know, maybe about three months. Um, challenges? Uh, it wasn't actually particularly challenging. I mean, compared to some of the more modern stuff, it's a lot easier to use an old system. I had to um, desolder a lot of, you know, as the old Apple computers had those expansion ports. I had to desolder several of those and remove those, so there is room to put the compact flash reader sideways. And I also had to um, desolder and um, kind of right angle tip over the memory expansion because, you know, they used to stand straight up on the old Apple 2GS and now it has to lay down to fit in the case. So um, it wasn't necessarily difficult, just time consuming. Although it took about three months to complete, Ben estimates he spent 40 hours at most creating the laptop, with a lot of that time spent on the custom keyboard. And some features didn't make the cut. I thought I'm putting a uh, iPod dock in it. But it would have been funny, but it probably would have um, not really looked good. It mostly would have been uh, just kind of funny to do, and not necessarily very functional. So after several years of console mods, what was the attraction to the 2GS? Well, I, it was one of my favorite old computers. Um, I am old enough that uh, even in high school we were still using them. And I always thought it was a really neat computer, and we used to play Arkanoid 2 a lot on it. And uh, so I really liked it. And when someone suggested that I make one, I'm like, oh, well, this is a sure, I'll do it, because it was a great opportunity. The 2GS also happens to share its main processing chip with a gaming console. It actually had the same processor as the Super Nintendo, which was a uh, processor that had an 8 bit mode and a 16 bit mode. Obviously, the Super Nintendo uses a 16 bit mode. The Apple II GS uses the 8 bit mode because it has 6502 compatibility for the Apple II games, and the 16 bit mode for the more advanced games that obviously work for the Apple II GS. Don't expect to place an order for the laptop anytime soon, though, as Ben is moving on to other projects. Yeah, I, I like to um, mix stuff up. I mean, you know, several years ago, I just kept on making Atari 2600 portables and whatnot, and uh, I decided that I would kind of try to be more eclectic with my choices and, uh, you know, keeps things fresh. And, you know, so now I'm sure someone will want me to make an Amiga or a Atari ST or, or something. And the 2GS will hold a special place for him. That was kind of funny on my website. Uh, I posted both the stories, you know, probably within three days of each other, and the Apple IIGS actually has more comments now even than the PS3, which is cool. I certainly like it better because, well, one, it didn't take over a year to build, and two, I don't know, it has a special place in my heart, the old Apple IIGS laptop. For more information, visit benheck.com. For the TV, I'm Ryan Ritchie.